you guys. This is my fourth video that I filmed today. I feel like a champ. And uh, this is the last one I'm filming because it is... How hot is it here today? 81 degrees. And the humidity is what? 58. Well, not too bad. But it's still really hot. Hey guys, I'm here for my 30 week bump day. 30 weeks. 30 weeks. I'm in the 30 week area. I'm in the 30s. First, let me do some baby updates. So according to Sprout, baby is just about the size of a cucumber and now weighs just under three pounds. Well, I'll talk about that in a sec. <laughs> and then if I go to the other app that I use, which is Ovia, she's the size of a summer cantaloupe. Her hand is this big and there's her foot. Can't even, I can't, can't deal. That's her size update, which leads me into her growth ultrasound. So because of what I experienced last time, there is a chance for interuterine growth restriction. So they want to do growth ultrasounds every three weeks from now until she's here. So we had our first ultrasound, well, how were we? we were 28 weeks and six days, so um, pretty much 29 weeks. I do have a little bit of footage from that day, so I'll go ahead and I'll insert that here. So I just pulled in to the place where we will have our first growth ultrasound. I'm so excited. I always get a little nervous because I really want to feel her move a little bit before I go in just because it reduces my anxiety a little bit. And literally before I pressed record, she just kicked me straight in the bladder. So I'm hoping I don't have to have a whole bladder for this because actually the last time, funny story, I must have a big bladder. I went in for the anatomy scan and you were supposed to have a full bladder and he literally put the um like ultrasound wand whatever you call that on my stomach and he took one look and he's like yeah you're gonna have to go empty that because it was too big <laughs> so go figure but i am waiting for chris to get here and then we're gonna go in i can't film in there so you won't see any of that but hopefully we will leave with a nice like profile side picture. I'll see if he'll print one off. He might. I don't know if he will or not. And I keep saying he because it's usually the same tech every time we come here. So we'll see. Okay. So we just got out and holy crap. She is measuring like two weeks ahead. So my due date based off her very first scan and she was supposed to be like nine weeks and she measured eight weeks. They told me it was going to be August 23rd based off of how she's measuring now. August 6th is when her due date would be. So I'm 28 weeks and six days and she's measuring 31 weeks and two days. So <laughs> I would say that was a very successful uh, fetal growth ultrasound for sure. He also gave us a profile picture. That's really nice. But based off of that now, I wanted to get a 4D ultrasound done, but because she's like growing so much I have to schedule that for like next week so hopefully they have something available so um, but yeah thankful for good appointments and I'm thankful that she is measuring ahead and not behind so that's really good we do have another growth ultrasound coming up at the end of June so I'm gonna see where she's measuring then and then if she's still measuring two weeks ahead have you guys ever experienced that where the baby was measuring so far ahead did they change your due date or anything like that I feel like depending on the doctor that I ask at the practice that we go to, the answer is going to be different. I know that ultrasounds aren't always 100% effective at determining how big she is or something like that, but like two weeks, we'll see where the next one leads us. But as of so far, she's definitely not measuring under, she's measuring over, which I'm completely okay with. Let me give you an update on movement. This little girl likes my cervix. I've watched so many updates where girls talk about getting like a cervix punch or kick. And I'm just like, oh, that would probably suck. Yeah, it doesn't feel that great. It doesn't hurt like bad or anything like that, but it's uncomfortable. Cause it's like, whoa, okay, okay. Makes me sit up a little bit taller. So they don't happen often, but they've happened a couple times along with like bladder kicks too. Um, I remember I was on the phone with Chris the other day and I was in my office and I was sitting there and I was talking to him and no problem. She kicked me once in the bladder, kicked me twice in the bladder, and on the third time I was like, look, I gotta go. Like, I literally have to go or I'm gonna go right here. Along with movement, I was actually able to catch 
belly movements on my phone. I swear every single time she starts moving and I get my phone out, she's like, mm, nope, I think I'm done. Like it's very like spasmy. It's very really weird. So I will go ahead and I will insert that right here. So yeah, that's been pretty cool. I was at a meeting like yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday. And we were kind of like venting and things like that. So it wasn't a moment where I should have been smiling, but she was moving so much and I could see it that I looked down and I started smiling and she was doing things very similar to what you just saw. So it's been very cool to watch that. I am seeing a little bit more instead of like the sporadic, like jumpy movements, I'm starting to see more like rolls and things like that. So that is very, very cool to be able to see happen. Then the last thing, oh, actually, um, two things. So first of all, apparently the new thing is that at two or three o'clock in the morning, like I have to get up and I have to go pee, which I am not that person typically who has to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom. So that's becoming a thing. And actually I can see it on my Fitbit when I um, see how long I've slept the night before. You'll see like awake right between two and three o'clock. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about was we were able to have a 3D, 4D ultrasound. We did have this done with Connor as well. So I really wanted to do it with her and we were able to schedule it and get it done. And she slept through the whole thing. So I don't have a lot of really good like movement clips because she's just sleeping basically, but I do have some really cute 3D photos. So if I can figure it out, I'll insert them either now or at the end of the video. It's just very surreal to be able to see like what she actually looks like. And he actually got a picture of her smiling. Like, are you kidding me? Like a smile? It's such a big deal. And it was the coolest thing to see. Like he brought it up on the screen and I'm like, was that a smile? And he's like, yeah. I was like, okay, that's more than I was expecting. She was just right nuzzled in there, wasn't gonna wake up for anything, but we were able to get some really, really great footage that I am very thankful that we have. And um, now we have it for, for both of our babies. So very, very um, grateful to have that footage. Looking forward, I don't have a doctor's appointment next week, which is pretty rare. I seem to be having either an ultrasound or a doctor's appointment like every week now. Next week I don't have anything. At 32 weeks, I will start my weekly doctor's appointments and I do have a growth ultrasound um, then too. So you probably won't hear from me bump date wise until 32 weeks. I also just filmed a pregnancy tag video. So I'm going to post that either this weekend or this week coming up as well. And I have filmed a couple other videos, one that is not baby related at all. I don't know if a lot of people will be interested in it, but I thought it was a fun idea. That will be up probably in like a week or two. If you have any other video recommendations, go ahead and leave them in a comment down below. I like reading them because it gives me ideas that I probably wouldn't have thought of on my own. And if you're wondering about a nursery tour, watch the pregnancy tag video and that answer will be in there. Oh, I'll do a belly shot too. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and following our journey. I really appreciate it. And it's nice to know that we have people um, thinking of us and praying for us. And it really does make a big difference. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Along with belly movements, I was actually Aber, Aber? If you have any other video recommendations, oh my God, I have to burp. Ugh. I just want to talk. So hot. Pull down. <laughs>